Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna show you a new homebrew antenna that I just built. And uh, it was built over two days. So you'll see in the video, you'll see some sunshine on one day and some cloudy, rainy weather on the second day. But we got her built. And what it is, is I wanted to experiment with a long wire. Uh, I was interested when I had the video on the electric fence when I connected to that. I thought, you know, I want to try that a little different. So what I built was a 1,600 foot center fed long wire antenna. And it's in the shape of a V. And I built it out in the cornfield here for this fall and winter. So we're going to play with that and just see what happens. It may not work. I have no idea, but we're going to find out what it's going to do. And uh, so let's go along and let's see what we can find out. So right now I'm standing at the feed point. Right there is where the two wires meet. I've got 800 feet going that way. You can see on some white PVC poles. And on that wire going north, I've got 800 feet going that way. So that's north, and that is 800 feet to the east. Now I mounted the poles here. That's, uh, people call these T-posts, we call them steel posts, whatever, into the ground. And then I got uh, some inch and a quarter PVC just tied right to it. And it's a 10 foot section of PVC. And I just got the hole drilled there at the top and the wire just fed right through it. And it connects right on down to the next one. Here's the wire we used. It's a uh, 17 gauge. I got a quarter mile spool and I got two spools and it's aluminum wire, mostly made for electric fences. So here at the uh, feed point, I've got a string coming back to a pulley. You can see it up there in the tree. And the string coming down to a weight brick, basically. So it will, there is tension on the wire, but it will fluctuate um, in the wind. And uh, so it's got some, some wiggle room. Uh, if we get ice on the lines and starts dragging it down, It'll raise my counterweight here and relieve some of the tension. So here's my ladder line coming out from the house. It comes to the uh, feed connection. So uh, what I did was I stripped back about two feet of the copper from the feed line or from the ladder line and just wrapped it around the copper, about two feet worth. And I did that around here since I can't solder copper to aluminum. I just did a good tight wrap and I'm going to uh, go ahead and take some electrical tape and tape that up. Here's the finished product. Ladder line following the string out and then uh, ladder line splits. One goes through the tube that way to the east. One goes through the tube north. I got the copper wrapped around the aluminum and taped. I don't know if you can see this well, but uh, my ladder line, I just got uh, tie wrapped to the top. And I've got two more posts going over to the tree. This is this is my XYL's favorite part. All this stuff hanging across the yard. 
but it's back in the backyard so we're cool all right so i'm gonna get this mount up that's how i put these on got the ladder line over to the wire in the field so here's the inside of the box that i'm building here's the four to one ballon it's a mfj 912 and that gets connected up here to my uh, uh, line surge suppressor. Um, and then this goes up to the feed line out to the wire antenna. Okay, so here's the final product. We got ladder line extended over to the wire that goes out in the field. And it comes up and it comes down into my box. And I've got the ladder line coming into my uh, uh, surge protector. And then I've got that going down to the 401, 401 ballon. I got my grounds run out. And I'll connect my coax to the bottom. And we should be ready to go. I'll get this boxed in and I'll paint it later. When you buy 100 feet and say, ah, oh, that'll be plenty. Whew. I bought 100 feet, ended up with six left over, and I thought I was going to have plenty left over. Whew, that was close. <laughs> all right. So here it is, all boxed up. I got the uh, ladder line coming down. I uh, put it between this board right here. It pinches it, keep it, uh, keep, some, keep it tight so it doesn't pull out of the box. I put my rain drip loop here. So uh, any water or moisture that gets on here will drip off here, it won't go up and inside. And then of course you've seen the stuff inside the box. Here's a moment of truth for the uh, antenna analyzer. Uh, they're looking at uh, 14,225 to 14,350. The uh, impedance is a little low. Okay, that's what we got on the uh, 20 meter band. Let's look at 40. All right, on the 40 meter band, we're looking at a uh, 70, 1 1.4. Gotta go up to 7,300. Hey, that's looking uh, pretty good for 40 meters on this thing. So we got the coax come out the bottom off my ballon, 12 foot, goes in my portal there and into the house and connects to my MFJ tuner. So uh, I tune everything through that. I just got this short piece of coax to come out because I didn't want to come out of the house with ladder line. I wanted my ballon outside and uh, convert it to my balance line, and then head out from there. Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? K0, KLB, QRP5 watts. Is this frequency in use? I got you. You said Roger, Roger, 5-3, Iowa. You are 3-3, and 3-3, and three. I think okay. so. Okay, well, 5 watts, you're 5-3, uh, you're 53 into Central Pennsylvania, QSL. You're 5-3, 5-3 into Park Kilo, 4003. Kilo, 0, Kilo, Lima, Bravo, I hear you 5 by 9. That is correct, you're about 5-3. Name is Bill, Bravo, India, Lima, Lima, New York. Okay, you're at KLB, you're at 5 two, 52, South Carolina. Uh, Hey, right on, Kevin. You're not even moving my meter, but I'll give you about a 3131 down in Texas. Uh, Park Kilo 3037. Uh, just run a 10 watts on the IC705. Right. I don't know. <laughs> uh, probably about, I guess, I don't even know what to say other than uh, like a 5 2. Yeah, you were coming uh, 5 7 from Kilo Charlie 1, November Quebec Echo. Piazza 7, Romeo Alpha, Romeo. Kevin, you're going to get about a 3 1, 3 1 into the park. Uh, kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo from kg 6 uo Are we on video today, Kevin? Are we on video? Go ahead. Roger, Roger. You will be in a video. Over. Roger, Roger. <laughs> 
Okay. Greg says hand the microphone back to him. So we're going to throw the switch and we'll put, we'll put Greg on for a minute just for the video. Here you go, Greg. <laughs> Roger, Roger. Kilo, Zero, Kilo, Lima, Bravo. Uh, the YouTube king of Iowa. How are you doing? Welcome to 12 meters from the West Coast. QSL? Roger, Roger. Testing my new antenna. My first contact on 12. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, your homebrew antenna is working just great with a dynamic photo team of Kilo Juliet 6 Echo Romeo and Kilo Golf 6 Uniform Oscar. QSL? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a riot. Those guys are too funny. Having a good old time on the radio out in California. What a good bunch of guys. Now the next segment is going to be a recording in South Carolina by Steve, Kilo Oscar 4, GSM. He actually recorded the, the comparison between the wire that we just installed in the field that's 10 feet off the ground and compared it to my 550 foot long wire that's tied 70 feet high up on the top of this silo. So we're gonna watch and listen to that audio. The first up in the video, you'll see the, the audio and signal from the wire that's out in the field. And the second half, I'm gonna switch over to the 70 foot high, 550 foot long wire, and we'll, you can see the comparison. I'll let you guys be the judge and uh, s and see what you think. So let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah, you're about a you're about a five three five four. Okay, I'm on the five hundred fifty foot long wire to the silo. Over. How copy. Yeah, you're about a 57, 58, and no bacon frying. It's nice and clear. Okay, and this is on five watts, five watts on both antennas. Okay, perfect. That just that's a great, uh, great sample for me. I appreciate it. 